Hi everyone. At the beginning of the year I watched a video from another YouTube blogger about what products uh, she was identifying that she wanted to use up in 2013. She had gone through her stash and found some things that she uh, had purchased, liked and enjoyed, but for some reason had set them aside and never really used them up. And I thought, wow, what a great idea that is because we all have stuff like that in our makeup bag or our makeup collection. And I think it's an awesome idea to go through your stash and find things that you liked it well, enough to buy them, and but not enough to finish them up. So uh, she identified 10 products. I actually went through and found 13, and I thought, 2013, 13 products, uh, I can do that. And the reason why I felt I could do that was because some of them actually had, uh, were pretty low, and I knew I would probably use them up in the next month or so, and uh, I actually have. But let's get started. So I tried to identify a range of products that uh, I could actually create a complete look from if I wanted to and I'm wearing pretty much that complete look today on my face. So I'm just going to go through it kind of in order that I would apply this to my face because I think that's what makes most sense to me. So the first item I have is Paula's Choice Best Faces Forward Foundation in SPF 15. My color is Best Champagne Beige. It's an awesome color match for my skin tone. Probably the thing that I don't like about this is I wish it had a little more coverage. So it's a little sheer. So there's pros and cons to that. But as I've gotten older, I find I need a little more coverage, unfortunately. So um, I love the color. I love the way it applies. I love the way it looks on my skin. I just wish it had a little more coverage. So I have about a third of a bottle left. Uh, so I'll easily finish this up. I'm done wearing it every day, but couple times a week and on the weekends it's great. I love the SPF in it. So uh, one of the things I use to um, kind of cover up where I don't have enough coverage from that foundation is I put a little powder uh, and just kind of dab it in these corners and yeah, like that lovely little zit there and um, use that only because concealer on my skin really doesn't hold that well. I have pretty oily skin. I probably blot my face late morning and again in the afternoon, and that's even in the winter time. And then I apply some powder down during the day. So um, the second product I had chosen to use up was another Paula's Choice product. This is um, Paula's Choice Mattifying Finish press powder and it has an SPF 15 in it. It comes in a really sophisticated uh, black compact like this which is sometimes that's nice to have a really elegant package that if you're carrying this to touch up during the day uh, it's kind of elegant to take it out. I have used this product up. I've hit pan. Sorry for that. I've hit pan. Uh, in all honesty, there was not a lot of product left in here. It was just pretty much a little ring around the edges, and I kind of tapped it, came loose, and have crushed it and used it all up. I already have another one of these in uh, around here somewhere. I tried to find it for this video to show you the color, and uh, regretfully, I couldn't find it. I don't know where it is, so I tucked it away somewhere, and I need to get after that. The next product is an all-over finishing face powder. It's from Bare Minerals. It's the Mineral Veil. Hello, everybody knows about this product. There's nothing unusual about it, except for it's in this giant container. So I bought this when QVC was having, like, value packaging, which was an awesome deal, and I obviously have used most of it. And uh, I only really stopped using it because I really got sick of... The loose powders and it's a huge container it takes up so much room in your bag you really don't want to travel with this because yeah okay enough said about that next up is this I think it's Maybelline Dream Lumi quite honestly 
all of the writing has worn off. And I really haven't used that much of it. It was highly rated. A lot of people really loved this and probably still love it. It is has one of these little click up uh, pen type things, which makes, you know, applying it really great. The coverage is good. It's not too like greasy looking. However, the one spot that I'm not oily is under my eyes and I just don't find it's really moisturizing enough. And it kind of dries out that area and accentuates the wrinkles under my eyes and nobody likes that. So I'm working it, trying to make it work. Sometimes I add a little extra moisturizer there. I'll probably use up more of that during the uh, summer months when it's a little more humid around here and my eyes won't be so dry. So next up is a blush from Benefit called Bella Bamba. This is also not unique. I bought this a couple years ago and I've totally, oops, oh gosh, I've totally hit pan on this. And as a matter of fact, what I was scooping up was ugh, the little corners have come loose. I never know, should I ditch the little corners? There's still a lot of product there. Uh, what do you do? That's what I'd like to know. Leave me a comment below and let me know. Uh, anyway, I love this blush. I'm wearing it today. I love the little fragrance. Some people don't like that. I happen to love it. And uh, I'm going to enjoy using this up. I have, you know, quite a bit still left in there, even though it looks like I've totally, I mean, I've totally hit pan. Okay, moving on to my eyes. So on my eyes today, I am wearing uh, some color shadow sticks from Mally Beauty. And again, this is were from some kits that I got from QVC. I think I had signed up for them. They look like this, by the way. Um, signed up for uh, a kit delivery and um, probably got a couple different things. So what I have is um, on my eyelids is this color, which is Dusk. Looks like that. It's a really lovely little brown, uh, shimmery color with probably a little bit of lavender undertones in it. Uh, so I really love that. So that's that. And then I have um, in the corner of my eyes, I have Starlight, which is this kind of... Um, kind of a beigey, shimmery color, and I have that in the corner of my eyes, like right here, to kind of brighten the corner up, and uh, so I like that. I use this with a lot of different shadows. I just apply it over the base color, and it just brightens up the inner corner of my eye. Next up is Purple Rain, and uh, I have this in the outer corner of my eyes and lining underneath my eyes. It's a great color for if you have green eyes. It really brings out the green in your eye. Look how much of this I have left. Holy guacamole. That's like a year, two years supply with the amount that I use. But we'll see how far I get. It'll be interesting. You know what? If I use this up, I'm buying myself a special prize. We'll have to see. Anyway, there's that. And the one color I'm not wearing is called Twilight. And this is your basic kind of taupey color. And um, I do have that swatched up here. So this is really a great basic to travel with when you um, maybe want just a color that's appropriate for every situation. Love that. And there's not much left in there either. So uh, moving on to some liners. Uh, Again, from that same kit with Mally Beauty. These are some long-wearing eyeliners. They work great. I've really enjoyed using them. Uh, the black one, I've used up. I'm totally done on this. That, there was not much there. Uh, the other color is this Fierce Forest. So, here it is. And it's this one underneath here. Uh, 
It's a great kind of a blackish green. Oh, it's really awesome. I love it with my eye color. Paired with that taupe, huh, totally rocking. I love that. Uh, just a really good, kind of an easy setup. And then on my eyelashes is this Tarte Gifted, which, um, again, I got this in a kit. I wanted to try some more of the Tarte brand. I had picked up one of their blushes, the Amazonian Clay blushes, and I was really impressed with it, so I wanted to try more from the brand. And QVC offers these value kits. They're, it's a great way to try a brand if you're not sure if you're going to like a brand. It's You get an assortment for probably less than if you bought all the pieces individually. So I've liked this product. It's pretty dry. I was able to get enough out to put it on my lashes today, but it is going in the trash after today. Um, I think it, it does a great job. In case you haven't seen this, I'll go ahead and show you the brush. It's just a really nice, um, kind of a basic brush, but it's good at thickening and lengthening my lashes. The color is good. Uh, there's really nothing wrong with this. I just think it's probably a lot of money to spend on a mascara. I don't know if I would spend that on a mascara. So, uh, and I don't really like this packaging for some reason. I know it's supposed to be eco-friendly, but it's like gigantic. Anyway, that's just me. Uh, and lastly, on my lips, I have a Bobbi Brown lipstick, which I've had a long time. And I've, I think I found this, I pulled out a handbag that I was going to use for something, and I was like, oh, that's where that lipstick went. Uh, I'm sure that never happens to anybody else, right? So uh, this is what I'm wearing on my lips. It's called Kir, K-I-R, I think I'm saying that right. Uh, it's just such a great kind of a berryish color. That's all I'm wearing on my lips today. I don't have any liner. Uh, she makes really wearable colors. Uh, I really like her lipsticks and uh, I've really enjoyed wearing this one. So uh, that's my last, my 13th product. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed pulling the products together and uh, talking about them because I really have enjoyed using them and they really haven't received enough love from me and so I want to use them up before they either dry up or you know expire I you know I pay good money for them and so that's my plan I love this tag if you're doing this tag let me know leave a comment below and I'll see you next time